Hey guys, Jedi Pointer's back. Playing Dementium Part 13. Been a great journey so far, and we're gonna keep it going even farther with this part, I guess, if you wanna call it that. It's get a fair amount done actually in this game, in this chapter. I wasn't may not have been the most exciting chapter, but I mean it is chapter Dementium, it's actually I don't know, it's it's good, I'm I'm kind of, I'm not starting to regain my job for this game. After that, like a billion times, but um, yeah, I'm just I'm getting there. It's just a long process with the university. It's just and like those videos. The reason why they're coming up so much is my friend and I, like always, dance and I set up every Thursday night. We sit down and record demented, uh, condemned videos. That's why I just have, I have like a surplus of them right now. That's why they're always up. Dementium, what I do is I tend to like record them, then do the voice over it, and then what I then I upload them like right, right one right after another. So uh, those I never have a surplus of Dementium videos, unfortunately. But I guess it just pushed me to play more. What well, should it has been in the past? I'm sorry for that. Um, yeah, I'm sorry I'm taking so long to do this game. I promise to have it done before the end, end of February. Well, it, yeah, I promise to have that done. I promise. But I don't know, focus a little bit on the game player. I don't know, the storyline's a little fuzzy for me at this point. Like, I know there's this little girl. This little blonde kid who kind of freaks the hell out of me. And then there's uh, that other blonde, like, looks like a mom or a teen sister or something like that. I don't know. I don't know how they're related, but I don't know. If that one clip, the flashback, right before the third boss, she saw, like the little kid saw, that blonde girl on the floor in blood. So I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. I've seen the blood, that blonde girl, like in a video, like in the game. So it's a flashback. That's kind of weird. I don't know. I guess we'll see how it plays out. Throughout the game, I just hope there's more, a little more storyline into it, and not just um, kind of like random, just monsters and all that. Cause you know it's a little boring. It's just monster after monster, kind of going through and not really actually focusing on the storyline. Cause I mean I don't really tend to follow the storyline a lot when I play video games, but. For me, the video game has to have some kind of storyline. Whether it's whether it's exciting or not, it's gotta have just even like a little bit. Like even in like a shooter, like you have to overthrow a government. That's all it is. That's easy to do. That's the easy storyline to follow. I'm excited, but with this one, it's just I don't know. Maybe maybe I've missed some stuff from it, and if I have, I'm sorry. Like, I mean, I enjoy, I enjoy playing the game. Don't get me wrong. It's just, like... Sometimes I just feel like... I'm missing something. Surline. Or, um... Just want a little more in the surline. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. I shouldn't really jump to conclusions. When we're just over halfway through the game. Yeah. Eh, I don't know. Nothing really to tell you about this chapter. It's 
called Hole in the Wall. But, um, there's no really holes in the wall, so I don't really get this chapter. Well, maybe I guess you can classify at one point, you're gonna see later, you can maybe classify as a hole in the wall. But I don't really classify it in anything close as to a hole in the wall. Okay, this part confused me because he like transported it in the wall and then he's there. Oh, I guess he teleported in the wall and then he teleported outside behind me and I'm like, what just happened? Oh, but it's kind of funny watching these uh, diagnostics and stuff. Like, cat scratch fever or whatever, like, that's kind of funny. <laughs> kind of, I kind of enjoy reading them, I... It's mean, but... I don't know, I think they just made them up for fun, just to make you guys, just make people laugh. And, yeah. It's at the end kind of freaked me out, it says... If, if you dare... I was like, okay, that's cool. It's like, yeah, we need to go find things to have more grip. So, you can go find a glove. Yeah. A glove. A glove of death. So awesome here. Glove. Like, really? I think it's a glove. And all of a sudden, we're superhuman strength. I don't really get it. But hey, I'm not complaining about it. I'm just gonna. Oh, and the glove in this room is in the closet right when you come in. It's like you'll be like facing into the room and then just go straight left into this closet where I'm going right now. And the glove is in there and you need this glove to be able to continue in the game. So just make sure you get this glove or else you're going to be stuck where oh, wherever you are for a long time. Until you find the glove. Obviously that was kind of stupid on my part but hey. I'm not the greatest guy either, so... Let's go through this wall. This, this is like a cool room. Do you want to know why? Yeah, you know that green stuff on the wall? Yeah, it kind of shoots out green <laughs> worms. Yay, hey? It makes, you, it makes you happy, right? Green worms coming out of the wall. Now, I mean, you don't have to shoot any. You can just... Run through like I did. I really have some path through. I didn't get damaged. Well, I didn't get hit, I guess. And but yeah, that's gonna be new. And then Banshee's inside the uh, um hospital itself. And not just on the skywalk is gonna be a little weird too. But it's just gonna be it's gonna be like really hard to. Uh, and you gotta pick up a new gun, it's the .357 revolver. I have it right now. I'm still, I still like using the uh, electric bus to kill most enemies. Unless I have to shoot them. So like the bugs and the, cr and the crawlers. Um, just cause it saves ammo when I really need it against bosses and that. So, yeah, that's kind of what I'm going for. But this video is pretty much coming to an end here. Um, um through this door I finished chapter nine. I'm on to chapter ten, the torn photograph, and I'll catch you guys later.